Edge to edge joints. Edge to edge joints. You put when necessary for the increase of the width of the limber on the tabletops for the wide shelving. There are three methods of the making them gluing, doweling, loose tongue, or spline joining. Before joining the boards, must be planned with the perfect to edge to edge match. Prepare to planning clamp both boards together with the edge of the join uppermost. Then use the joint planer, page 28. Plane both edges at once to seam to the eye to the B flat enough. Check the result of accuracy holding plane to get each edges together. No, now daylight should th show through it. Uh, no daylight should throw through at any point, even if they are planned. Dowel joint. Doyle jig. Ensure that the need accuracy for the joint. Plan the edge in straight square with the dowel locations clamping both boards with the back to back square lines across the lathe. One dowel every six to nine inches. Intersects marks with a central gauge from each face side. One drill hole checking the squareness using the depth guide of the bit of the give the high hole slightly deeper than half of the dowel length. Sharing for the dowels of the each end of the edge a location the assembly saw with the grooves along the each of the dowels to allow the trap glue to escape glue and serve the dowels for the one board fit the other board over the protruding dowels clamped together. Spline joint. Joints are more suitable for the longer work of the areas of the more accurately dowel joints. Cover the tongue spline with a cross grain plywood. Select the plow plane blade um, of exactly the same thickness. Screw the edge of the table saw. Cut the groove along with the both repaired edge running with a plow fence along with the face side with combined with the depth of the both grooves slightly greater than the width of the spline. One glue assembly with the joint two and clamp the assembly together by a final checking flatness wipe off any of the excess glue cut and trim overall size only after the glue has set choosing the correct joint love more often length lengthened by big projects such as garage carport floor renovation smaller jobs too but the, um, such as furniture repair occasional require greater length available the, the files give you the basic selection Proper joint in terms of comparative strength and complexity of the construction and lap joint. The simplest of all lightning, lengthening joints suitable for the lightweight structure. Cut lap of the thickness of the lumber. Be sure of the both shoulders exactly end of the joint pieces of uh, joint pieces or joint will be weakened. Shirk the joint with glue and screw, screw secure the joint with screw and glue and screw. The screws should be staggered then in order to avoid splits along the grain. Splayed lap, a variant of the half lap of the lap with the um, thickness instead of the width can be used where the joint is supported by the joint, joints, joist, or wall, chief to the decorative and non supporting ceiling beams where centering nailing has to be straight for fastening sheet materials such as wall board cut spray. Splay along along the grain to resist any tendency of the joint to pull apart. Make the length of the joint equal to the width of the lumber. Drive the cut in the ale diagonally through the lump, lower lamp lap of uh, into the joint supporting the wall plate with the lumbering running along the top of the wall, but on the joining length with the screw with another nail driving diagonally through the top. Through from the top bolted joint carriage bolts used for the lumber connectors may s make strong face-to-face -face joints and beams truss. Insert connectors metal washers tooth the edge on bolts between the joining face of the tighten the nuts and connectors would bite into the wood increase the shear strength of the joint using washers under the nuts. Using joint plates, a sandwich construction using joint planes, great uh, great strength end to end joints, cutting joint planes, sometimes called fish plates, four times to get longer than the width of the timber, but they should be the same width of the lumber, only half as thick. Give all strip the dagger crews of the carriage bolts, carriage bolts and passage through the wood, the screws should be just as short as passing through. Scarf joint. A, the cut along the slant used where great strength is required. A scarf joint usually is just glue, but an angle of cut surfaces need to be cut and planned with a great accuracy, properly made with the stronger lumber that it joins. Ideally, the slant on a scarf should be 8 to 1 greater in order to achieve full length strength. The screws need not to be the extra strength for the moderate resin glues. Clamp the joint while glue is setting. V splice joint is used mainly for the furniture repairs application applications where appearance is important and considered. Cut the V width of the fine to solve the cut and plane with the joining piece for the exact fit with the give the piece of the joining and clamp it position. Six ways to attach legs at a corner. There are three ways essential for the making table, certain, certain table types of framing construction method range from glue and screws and dowels and tenions. Simple way of joining leg two rails is 
commercially produced chair, table corner brace that is for fit for slot and rails. These base braces come in a number of sizes. The joints are held together by screws passed through the base brace and the leg. Sometimes the type of the brace provides holes for the screws, marks the position of the legs and rails on the underside of the chair of the tabletop. The cut the rail of the exact side of the position of the brace. 45 degree in the corners of the pencil outline marking the locations of the slot with the house of the brake and brace ends in the rail. So they transfer the position into the wood, cut the slots to fit. Mark on the inner corner of each leg with the place of the plate screw that is to go to drill a hole deep enough for the wood screw to get a start. Attach the rails of the top of the tabletop to glue small metal inside corner braces. Drive the hanger bolt into the pre drilled hole of in each leg. Insert the other bolt into the corner plate. Tighten the wig nut. Dials on corner joints too they need to be staggered to prevent meeting of the middle, middle leg and at least to three of the each of the, of the rail if space permits space them evenly the dial should be one third the thickness of the rail <sighs> okay uh glad, glad glued and screwed corners are stronger than but can be made quickly they can be arranged so the leg um, leg is inside three or outside the rails for the strongest corner joint is mattered mortise and tenion five and six basically the joint is two rab to stub tensions meeting the right angles in the center of the leg mark out the tenion rails mortise inners the face of the leg finally f um, fit rails separately with the mite over the tenions and the small gap between them when the joint is assembled leave about one half inch away so the top of the leg trim off the joint is complete prevents splitting cabinet corner joints cabinet construction tongue groove panels and solid corner piece the tongue should be one third the thickness of the panel solid tongues can be cut either surface of uh panel the grooves can be cut into panel ends of the tongues or corner piece of these joints are chiefly used in solid wood not plywood how to use molding windows and baseboard trim moldings are decorative strips of the wood serve for the trim of the woodwork covering the seam of the joint they are made with many types of the according to its purpose so Below are moldings interior window. The frontal type is applied with a stool with a place horizontally stop with the overlapping side casing. She comes next to the left or right with a window for the paired windows such as middle mold and cast to place the vertical member between the two windows. Head casting molding miter ends at mounted cross top fit of the miter up ends the casing with the miter corners head and casing should be identical molding to complete the trim. Apron is needed a nail to place under the stool closing the gap between the sill and the inner wall. Also Shown light lower right baseboard shoe moldings used to cover the joint between the wall and the flooring. The shoe moldings cover the joint between baseboard and floor nailed to the floor rather than the baseboard minimizing shrinkage gap where the floor and baseboard meet. Two ways to make a cope joint. Cope joints are usually mo used when moldings are in inside corners in advantage of the miter joints as it conceals their irregularities better. To make a corner joint first cut, the mold and the two longest um, opposite sides of the room and the end square of the butt against the wall the length of the short side of the cope fitted. If the molding is on flat back, you can do this using a scraper molding as part pattern. Trace the counter over the flat side with a tape over the front. To avoid splattering, splintering, cut the, through the molding side along the outline while with the coping cell with the modeled back, irregular crown molding. Get a desired result with a method. Cut 45 degree miter, then cut away the excess wood along the miter outline. Finding a vertical line. Spirit level the check surface of the pr pr um, precise horizontal vertical with a bubble glass um, vial. Either one center mark, one pair is a mark separated by the distance equal bubble length. Surface level. Pull on the single mark type when the bubble is centered with the two mark type when the bubble is between two and the tubes running across level length. Serve the plumb. Veils used as. But, um, shown drawing on a check up accuracy vertical surface by attaching a plumb bob. To, and a line board ver can take a vertical line on the board's edge with a pencil with a 4x4 four four board 5 to 6 feet long, cut in a hole a half inch together, 2 inches wider than the bob. Mark the center line of the board, fail, fi fix the nail on the center line over the, over the board draw, top, draw a pencil along the board edge for the bottom of the true vertical. Finding a horizontal line using a spirit level check for the horizontal surface reads for the level veils. Um, the run for the parallel with the level strength of the spirit um, levels of each extra veil set with a 45 degree checking seat. Certain angular brace, others include adjustable protractor depending on the set of the vials gauge angle, giving the angle reading of 0 to 90 degrees. A line level that hangs on the top, centering provided with a level of masonry, other structural work. 
combination of squares and other options described at the right. To establish a horizontal line with a user level, the plywood point or nail hole at the top of the bottom of the point with the bowl center of the upright wider with a portion of straight edge draw center of the board at 90 degree angle to the straight edge loosen nail pointer to the board, then the center line and the rest of the straight edge of the object to be leveled to move open object until pointer aligns with its center. Pointer must be swing freely. Straight edge uh, when pointer lines up center line object is level. Making a straight edge, making combination square, making a simple box. Learn to build the three. This box, you it will go. Learn to build this box. You will on. You're on your way to more many complex structures. The steps are easy to follow. Fasten together four sides of the box, each of the cut on the square by four attaching the back section of the bottom of this case nail two strips of wood diagonally across the front of the box to stiffen the structure and hold it in square. Nail or glue the back um, of the box. Remove the trip ship the ship should we, you wish to make your box bookcase. Simply turn it into the end of the edge shelves. You can do this by attaching plastic strips and molding to the sides, sliding the shelves into the position shelves. Maybe the nail the molding tracks may also be produced by attaching two strips of molding on either side as shown. Making a simpler drawer. A drawer is a simple box, four-sided bottom one. It can be constructed several ways, drawing the two show of the side piece of the fitted into the slots in the front and permit the nails to drive over the two directions extra stability by placing the drawer in the grooves of the cutting in the side place to provide a narrow bare Bearing, uh, area between side and runner, back slides, groove sides, bottoms moved um, to the front with it possible to nail with the bottom to the back of the front with the beneath. Another variation, five grooves of the cut of the side act with the track of the runners which are fastened over the walls of the basic unit drawing seven of the drawer fronts. Similar, slightly deeper of the drawer themselves give the unit where the meat with the neat finished look instead of the grooves two strip of the woods maybe the other add the slot between the acting of the track eight on the side and the track strips maybe the nail the side runners nine which traveled along the grooves and the units side t ten tracks maybe the made attaching the two strips of the units on the sides eleven and simplest of all ready to make plastic tracks twelve. A drawer may be suspended up, uh, up or under a desk or a table, L-shaped molding, plastic tracks on the wood strips, fasteners, either case over the, uh, to the other side. All right, a rabbited front door, rabbited dodo joint shown on the door over the right, made easily with a table saw, radial arm saw, with a dad who had repeatedly jet passes over and under the saw blade with a cutting depth over the edge just to suit. Back of the drawer, fitting like for the draw back of the sides of the dad who is to take an edge of the plywood bottom of the draw drawer is to have the side of the burner side sh should be dadded before assembly is shown with a detailed sketch. To assemble the individual parts, you first join the side of the back using glues and nails. Next, slide at the bottom place, pan over the place with the coating at the edge and the groove in which they fit, fit to glue. The coat on the bottom of the daddy end of the rabbit drawers of the wheel glue along with the front edge of the bottom of the panel of the front end of the side with the fit with the parts of the gear with the single with the nailing sides in front as indicated it locks the assembly with the glue set if the stop daddies are made with the power saw stop the saw cut will show up well short of the daddy end finish to stopping point with a chisel after the draw hardware after glue has set. Overlapping front drawers. If the door from the overlap side of the unit at the right with the conceals all framing behind it, a joint with the between the sides and front may be dovetailed dadded. For added strength, as shown in the sketch at the lower right, the same type of drawer with the plain dadu may be used with the side joint back to join the back. In either case, the dadu is stopped below the top of the unit. If it was cut on a power saw finish with a chisel of the plywood bottom of the drawer is fitted with the dadus all around the drawer above. If you decide you want to do a dove dovetail dadu, it can be easily setting with a saw with the desire of the depth of the cut. Adjusting the blade tilt with a dovetail angle, use the same tilt with the cutting the mating the piece if you have not set, um, previously made with the type of the joint and saw with the make of the free trial joints and scrap wood pray, practice the technique. Plain dadus to the take of the drawer bottom are made with simply setting the blade with the depth of the cut and fence the floor of the correct position from the edge of, and res reset the fence to save the cuts of the groove width. To remove intervening material with in between the passes. Drawer guides to ensure the drawers more straight out of with with it without jamming uh, in an angle. They can be equipped with track line guides. Corner corner guides are found fitted around lower outside corner of the draw sides. 
The bottom of each of the guides serve as the supporting track of the raised portion of the curb to prevent turning. A kicker strip of the wood is often mounted above the drawer to prevent back with the t- t- tipping upward and in frontward downward as the drawer nears the full extension side gui- guides. Consists of grooves over the outer strip of the drawer sides of the stationary runners mounted over the frame furniture. No additional support necessary to cross members between the drawers to reduce the thickness of the be eliminated. Adding overall dra- drawer volume center guides consists of groove and twin rail unit. On the other side of the drawer, the stationary rail attached to the framing in the middle of the shirt of the drawn drawer moves straight and out while allowing clearance at the side of the weight of the drawer is supported by the lower edge of the side riding the flat rails without the curved strips of the corner guides. All wood to wood glute guides operate more smoothly, easily lubricated while maxing applying spell spray lubricant may be made for the purpose either of the case the wood surface should be first given a coat over the sealer and allowed to dry. Manufactured draw sides available in many forms, usually comparable to the center guide with a side guide with a special advantage include lower friction rail- rollers. Full extension types of the telescoping rails permit the draw routes to be pulled out on the full length without disengaging the tip end of the planning of the use of the ready made slides. However, the clearance of the draw slides or the bottom must be allowed for make of the model slide to be used. Typical clearance all out one inch of the track between the drawer within the center side with a half inch clearance of the sides from sides. Interior construction, building a portion. Simple way for the vibe of the build a non divider portion is flat on the floor layout of the framework with the studs up at 16 inches apart, center to center. Length of portion depends on the room, so the final stud one end will usually be spaced different from the other. The entire frame, including the studs and sole plate, by 2x4 sock, make overall height of the frame of one half inch short from the ceiling using a 2x4 sole of the plate that you can stand with the completed frame up without cornering the plate, jamming against the ceiling fastening the stud driven in with three and a half inch common nails through the sole and the plate directly to into the end of the each stud. No nail no toe nailing is required. Stand is fully some of the framework and some of the one holding it up. A slip an extra two by four under the sole of the framing raise this snug against the ceiling. Make make Mark the floor position 2x4, then framework. Temporarily remove the nail from the 2x4 to the floor. Place the framing, hold it in vertical during the process. Nail it to so it's at a sole to the extra 2x4. Use the level square portion. Mate, mark the ceiling joist above the at the point with the upward through the plate. And each joist on the portion runs crosswise. If the portion runs parallel, it must be practical to locate under joists just well set them, sell them to have the shift plan location new with a few inches to accomplish since choice or own on 16 inch standard, standard construction. Applying covered with nail wall board framing in place, the ends of the framing can be nailed through the ends of the studs existing walls by covering and apply the studs of those walls usually located directly under the joist. Studs of the paneling end of the framing or the studs are spaced evenly for 16 inch centers. Trimming the final panel as required. Modeling and trimming may be then added. Molding should, of course, be stained and finished and coordinated with the panel before step is taken. Always check your local code before beginning structural work. So 16 cents, 16 sixteens on center sole plater, stud, stud, top plate, double door is installed, top plate running crosswise, top plate running parallel. Framing in the door, the kind of the framing required for the door depends on the nature of the function of the wall. It's not the load-bearing portion of the wall. Two by four, a pair of two by four pieces edge up the adequate header across the top. However, the wall is portion addition of the house with most purport part of the load of the floor roof. The much heavier he- header usually paired two by eights must be used for um, above the door opening and the framing fitted for the show on the right. The local building code will specify the side of the header to the most case of the purpose of the double studs header and to assure positive support with the header which in turn supports the floor of the roof above the means of short intervening studs resistant. Double studs are also used on each side of the door opening to prevent vibration for the door class for the sole framing. Does not act to extend across the bottom of the door opening based on overall door opening dimensions on the sides of the actual door of the trim to be used allowed with the other clearances recommended by the manufacturer. 
Framing a window. Framing meant that the window openings follow the same rules as framing a door. Most windows, except for the kitchen pass through the openings, are outside windows. They may often involve the structural support. In general, walls running parallel rigid for the roof and the support wall that run across the gable ends usually are not. The window opening is more than the average width. But, however, the very large header should be used when you are in dealing with an unload bearing walls to provide a stiffness required for the prevent cracks and plaster wall board, especially at center. Corners. The dimension of the window opening should be based on the actual size of the window and show that as their window variations along the newer types made the different manufacturer window afterwards attractive view they should be set long enough to block the vision of room and occupants when they are seated still heat about thirty inches still still a uh, still height about thirty inches usually assures this higher sills tend to obstruct your view of the lawn and garden. Laying basic floor. Before installing strip flooring, see sweep and vacuum in the subfloor, cover it with the building paper, the wall, the wall. Finish the stra- strip um, flooring laid for the right angle of the subfloor um, floorboard. Subfloor is laid with the right angle of the joist. Subfloor is diagonally or is plate made with plywood. Finishing the floor made lay. Laid in the direction of the exact parallel of the subfloor being and then putting it down with the first strip of the parallel over the wall, groove of the side of the tour of the wall, love the, leave half the expansion piece of the, between the strip of the wall with it, will be covered with a baseboard and molding. Fan it, fa- fa- face the nails fa- first strip to place every 10 inches, drive the nails close to the grooved edge of, so that they will be concealed with the molding. Nails should be driven with the floor stripping with the subfloor with the on the top edge. Blinding nail at 50 degree angle. You can rent a floor nailing machine to handle this part of the job. Installing a ceiling furring, furring strips. Furring is the name of the one inch of the inch thick strips of wood that are fixed in the ceiling and a wall to provide leave. Level base for surface materials such as ceiling tile and wall panels. Furring strips shown as nailed with the right angles across the joist. The strips can also be mounted directly on the strip of the old ceiling space for the strips that are according to the tile side of the edge of the you may meet the center of the strips. The 16 inch wide tiles are used in position of furring strips at 16 inches apart. Measure from center to center. Two and a half inch nails to secure the strip of the joist. Two nails at each of the joists crossing. There are two basic methods of installing furring strips. One, you can start with the center of the one on the over the ceiling and work toward uh, each of the side and uh, t- toward each side so the side of the tiles are trimmed will match the both sides and the other start flush with one wall and trim as necessary as all as the other you, um, level check with strip alignment every two strips small piece of wood shim between the strip joints adjust it as needed Tiles can be fastened for and stripped with nails and cement. Thoroughly general rule and stapled into place. For tight and groove edges keep the seams smooth. Finishing wood preparation. No matter what you want the wood to finish to do with it, enhance the grain pants color of the wood, provide the durable serve the correct for the patient. The patient preparation critical. The first step is determining whether the wood is open to the closed pore type. The pores are within the natural hole that run along with the grain. This for the directory through that we now have the use of the wood filler before the applying the full final finish. Common opening woods are mahogany, walnut, oak, rosewood, teak, corona, and overdid. Closed pore tighter and grain woods like pine, maple, birch, cherry, and gum wood. Woods are um, later group but usually do not require use of fillers. Absorbently is an important soft wood such as the pines are generally more absorbent than wood, hard woods absorbent would tend to seek up the first coat but no sealers must be after the initial staining. Staining is crucial for the success of any furniture finish uh, although power tools can do much more with the roughly sanding one careful hand sanding will guarantee a smooth professional final result. Sanding in stages using fine grade paper at, e- at, at, at each stage start with 80 grit rough work followed by 120 grit for smoothing use 220 grit working along with the grain only when you want to produce a super smooth surface that grips up to 280 must be be with the hardwoods. After sanding vacuum the surface, remove all traces of the dust and grit with a wipe off with a ramp wrap, wrap rag damp with turps or paint thinner. Fill the blemishes such as the um, nail holes spill, spill, splits in the wood with sh- stick shell like a wood dough, but but. But both come in match must most woods. Stick shellac is melted with a whole crack of the wood dough and is applied to the putty knife of the filling material with the drive the following with the manufacturer's instruction on this. Sand the file area is smooth with 120 grit sandpaper. 
For beginning the final finish of the take of the temperature humidity into account, finish of the non recommended under the condition extreme cold dampness of the, in such as a basement polyurethane finish is not adversely affected by dampness. If you're staining coloring a piece of furniture, this work has to be done in the same light with a piece of the receiver in use. The particular important that you use any particular refinishing in item furniture you, we want to watch in a previously finished clothes as possible. Or sanding properly, uh, used power sanders can nearly complete many sanding jobs. Some handing sanding is usually required that amount, with depending on the work of the final finish plan for each. Uh, for it, best easiest method when you wrap sandpaper around the smooth and flat back block sand with a consistent moderate pressure to large rough, rough surfaces. Sand these belt sanders. Page 57. Disc sanders. 46. Belt sanders diagonally across with the wood grain first way. The opposite diagonal of the important is to start with a coarse sandpaper, work down to the medium, never skipping more than one grit size, surface to smooth at the level of the diagonal sanding, work along the grain, starting with the medium grit paper, proceeding down fine, do not do use the belt sander for veneered work, page 381, it cuts too deep, is liable to damage work, and hand sanding is best for surfaces. Disc sanders follow the same sanding progress of the belt sander, with the mount moved back and forth along the grain with a fine paper until the surface is smooth finish and hand with working along with the wood grain eliminate marks left behind by the desk um semi smooth surface the orbital vibration sander works with previous painted previous works with fairly smooth the useful of sanding inside corners paint remove the rough work and start with a coarse open grit sandpaper finishing with fine hand sanding it's not always necessary especially if the plan to finish with paint finishes stained varnished in hand sanding is recommended Finishing wood. Old finishes can be sanded and scraped until the, all of the pr previous coat and varnish and lacquer are gone, but the simplest quick hits for the to the remove of the, the liquid scream or self and off so almost finished won't damage the wood. Sanding can leave scratches, especially in one veneer. Best way to apply a remover is to spread with a generous amount of work. Surf the try to work on the horizontal plane. Use the natural brush with the cover of the two square feet at a time. It is five minutes. The surf will start with a peel and blister. Some old surfaces simply become gummy. Lift all of the old finish over the putty knife, pressing down firmly. Move the grain when possible. If the old finish is several coats thick, extremely old, hard, you may have to repeat the process. Vertical surf the cream remover is the best choice. It forms a jelly like cover that clings along with enough lift the old finish and use also the intricate chair and table legs the old finish begins to lift and stiff brushes coarse steel wool to scrub the away the residue work with the cream into the cracks cracks until all the original finish is gone wipe off the excess of the old tools and newspaper wipe with open pour woods necessary to get the most of the finish out of the pores of possible to do this the medium grade steel wool dipped in remover and rub surface for the hard continuous pressure once the old finish is gone neutralize the remover um, that has been absorbed in the wood. Terps of lacquer thinner steel wool washed down with the entire surface of rub along with the grain when you can. At this joint, remaining color staining in the wood satisfactory, you begin to carry out the finishing techniques described on the page of the file. The remaining color is not your lightning will have stain over the existing color, dark and deep, and remove the old stain completely, sanding and bleaching. If you notice while standing on the surface, the lots of blotchy and blemishes do not seem to come out with a problem needs means the original stain was penetrating old stain. This is because of the difficulty even impossible to remove the might try bleaching. If it fails, surface must be either painted or dark stain applied. Colors and bleaching. Color and final finish of furniture must be determined expirations, attempting to achieve finish match of the furnishing preparate testing color comparison. Stain kits available to obtain test side of the mount with a shovel of basic stain colors. If you have some stains left over the other jobs, experiment with those making comparison test of the scrap of the piece of the wood and make sure the furniture, if you are refinishing, select the uh, on the area side of the back furniture. Since the surface carefully apply the stain mixture Two square inches at a time, make the mixture of the eyedropper by the teaspoon, keep it record over there, concentration sample board area of the dried area coat of the entire surface of the, the sealer, bring without of the color study shades, will see with the slightly darker of the actual fin finish test, the final f color applying the three coats of lacquer, the varnish, whichever the, um, with will be the final coat to place the clear glass, hold, hold the glass over the sample, finish the true with see with the true colors, bleaching. 
Each application finish material that further darkens wood surface is desired with a light and blonde of pastel finish is necessary to bleach um, the raw wood a lighter shade. Professional wood bleachers are classified in numbers 1, 2, and 3. Bleach the surface applying to bleach number 1 entire area using only a clean white rag. Let dry 10 minutes. Apply bleach number 2. Cover number 1. Allow to dry at least 12 hours before taking up with the next set. Bleach water soluble will cover the wood grain to lift and so file with the drying with little sanding using 200, 200, 220, 280 sandpaper. If the stage is still lighter as desired. Apply the second coat. Note number to number 2. Bleach bleach wood panel must be neutralized before finishing. Do this with a 50-50 solution of white vinegar and water. Rub the solution into the surface with fine with seal wool. Wait 24 hours on sand lifted grain. The least efficient, simpler breaching method is using combination of bleach number 1 and number th- and 3 in a single application, making mixing ratio 4 parts number 1, 1 part number 3, applying 2, 3 coats mixture followed by the vinegar neutralization. Caution when using bleach, wear gloves. Type of recommended bleach manufacturer work only with a well-ventilated area. Fillers and sealers, wool fill it, wood fillers are important because of the finishing that magnif- 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 magnifies every hole so it creates crevices of unfilled well- wood. Corn and paste liquid form, pa- the pa- paste type must be thinned with the benzene, turpentine, turpentine, best of the beginner source, um, since dries slowly, allows more working time. Filler comes in with a wide range of colors, can be lowered lightly, darkened with Japan, colors page 410. Have a filler over the surface of the two square at a time, uh, two square feet at a time. Brush the f- um, brush f- first across the lawn with the grain. F- um, with the filler turns a gray dull 10 to 15 minutes. Wipe the surface across the grain with a rough towel burlap. This will force the filler into the wood pores. Most of them were wiped more off wipely along with the grain of the rag. Timing is important, so follow the manufacturer's instruction. If wiped off too soon, the filler pulls out and wait too long, it won't come out at all. Wait overnight before applying a new finish. Mo- most fillers look like dry at, look dry after the only a few hours, but this is deceptive premature application. Final finishing conceal filler liquids and crevices. This shows up to later great blotch gray blotches in the finish. Sealers act as a buffer between color stains and fillers. Final finishing coat sealer fills wood pores, reduces abru- uh, absorbency, keep the number of the finished coat. The minimum oil stain has been used. Sealer keeps it from bleeding into the finished coat. The beast best sealer is to prevent medium um, bleeding is shellac. For shelling, shellac can be uh, mixed with five to ten percent denatured, uh, denatured alcohol. But shellacs are yellow and orange. Used to sealer, they alter it in color, the color of the final finish. So the color change by shellacking a piece of glass, pacing it, placing it over the finish to view the change. Shellac of some disadvantage deteriorates on shelf, usually in four to six months. Old shellac will dry, not dry. Another problem is shellac is very hard and brittle and develops alligator cracks, exposed to damaged conditions. Professional sealers are available with no shelf life limitation. They can be thin and lacquer thinner. They can be main t- painted, spray painted right, oh, uh, sprayed right from the can. Some ready mix stains in the market combine sealers with a stain. This, of course, eliminates extra step of sealing provided available stains include the color you want. Finishing wood staining. There are two. The stain has two functions: brings out the wood a desired color, emphasize the beauty of the grain. Um, prefer natural wood finish with the light stain with no alter wood colors, but will emphasize the grain lines are come. Simply non-stain with the work at all. With the refinishing stain with a match for the color of the new work with the other finished section with a perhaps with a different piece for the selecting a stain with a bearing in mind of the finished coat. Final finished coat usually makes the actual result light darker. Um, there are several types of stains, old stains, uh, oil stains, water, alcohol, suitable stains become, being most common. Pigmented oil stains, finally ground powders, which are used in paste form, mixed with the turpentine benzene so they can be brushed and wiped off the work surface plant. Pigmented stain, stains are for that can mix with the turpentine stains with the cover of the grain and apply with an oil stain. Can be applied with a rag or brush, rub the stain across the swivel of the grain, let it dry for 10 to 15 minutes and wipe off the clean rag stain. Is too light, it does not make a mistake with applying a thick coat, letting it dry instead of the wipe off the first coat after a longer wait of no more than 20 minutes. Apply the second coat next day. Oil stain should be wiped off and never allow to dry, allow as it will discolor and conceal the grain of the wood like a sort of paint. But if you should happen to let the stain dry, it's not all lost. Stamp it on a white rag, trap, trap, turps, benzene, wipe off the stain. You might have to apply the considerable pressure of the dried stain, difficult to remove. 
Dye stains generally with both water and alcohol soluble will apply with a very thick liquid soak of the wood quickly. The dye stain brings it out with a sharpening grain lines. The stains come in the power of the form and air mixed with water slightly below boiling temperature. They best apply with a spraying and long Although, best applied by spraying, although a rag and sponge will do for best results, work in a room temperature when mixing light color to damp to adding more powder. Darker colors may be lighter, adding more water, either cold or hot, applying the stain slightly larger, lighter than what you want to find in the look. Use the second application to bring the desired intensity. Be sure to mix enough stain to complete with the entire job. Gently second patch, and much can be difficult after opening these stains, should only be stored in glass containers. If you should put too much stain on the work, find so that it looks blotchy and uneven. Try to reduce the concentration wiping surface immediately with a rag soaked cold water. Water strains, however, stains, however, will raise the grain in, in the wood. After overnight dyeing, drying sand the surface lightly for this fine sandpaper and other disadvantages, they tend to cause swelling and warping. Applying alcohol soluble stains, stains are the often are often called NGR or N B non gray stains or non bleeding stains. They have all the events of other stains except they are not color fast water stains strains. They are already mixed in the eight basic colors and can be inter, can be intermixed to make your own custom color. The intensity of the reduced by adding alcohol solvent. You can apply these stains by spraying brushing wiping with a rag. Beginners should use the brushing method for a best result. Brushing is easier than stain. Then one part stain, three four parts alcohol. Clean brushes often use rising them thoroughly with warm soap and water. If too dark, with the application has been made, try to make a lighter wiping immediately in a solvent soak rag. If it does not work, you will have to sand working. Begin again. Wear gloves using the stain. If any should get into your skin, wash it with warm water soap to take the precautions. Do not smoke while using alcohol stains. Japan colors are pigment type stain popular with the professional finishers because of their versatility, but they can be used to stain, glazing, toning, painting, blending, graining, and shading. Japanese Japan color pigments are normally ground into six to twelve times finer grain grind and better and also costlier the results. The colors are available in standard wood finish sh sh shades plus white, black, blues, and greens. Use raw wood and would hide grain rather than enhance it. Strong enough concentration maybe to have like a paint. Mix the light color give the color of the form of a toner. Mix the sealers and they become the color glazed. Japanese color Japan color mixture applied with the end of the grain plan. Plywood makes the end of the mesh rest of the wood can be used for the antique effects. We wiped off on the work and have been a dye stain given the surface an undercolor stain and an underlaying of the color. Because of the pigmented stain files of the coat of Japan, color should be sprayed brushing the tail in the, the pole of the pigments of the mixing them with lacquers. Brushing is unavoidable. Let the first coat dry at least 24 hours, applying the second very light with brush strokes. Varnish and shellac. And we'll cut the tape there.